Zor here from ZorGameGeek.com. Today talking to you about the esoterrorist, esoterrorist, I keep on getting that wrong, the esoterrorist uh, a setting from Gumshoe. It's a setting and a rule book. It's the original rule book for the Gumshoe system. For those who don't know, Gumshoe is an investigative system and they don't have a core rule book and then all these different setting book. Each book expresses the rules that and, and modifies and adjusts them to amplify and to make it fit for that setting. And so it's this elastic set of rules that modify and, and, and just change from setting to setting to meet those settings needs. Today, esoterrorist. If you want to learn more, go to zorgamegeek.com slash esoterror, E-S-O-T-E-R-R-O-R. -R -R. I want to talk about campaign structures, the adventure structures for the esoterrorist campaign. It is set up to work very much as a rip from the headlines. Think your Law and Order episodes, where you have some event, uh, your Harvey Weinsteins of the world, uh, uh, doing bad things to women. Next thing you know, you have a Law and Order episode about this movie mogul who does bad things to women, gets investigated, and then is convicted. Rip from the headlines. You can do that with esoterrorists. In fact, um, I have an article not the esoterrorist one. It's about how to create a mystery, a scenario in Gumshoe, ZorGameGeek.com slash mystery. And I ripped from the headline an article I found on the Washington Post not that long ago talking about how this soldier was trying to ambush or have an ambush happen on his squad because he'd become a member of a satanic neo-Nazi cult. If that doesn't scream a role-playing game adventure, I don't know what does. Satanic neo-Nazis. Perfect bad guys, because you, we all know what to do with Nazis, you punch them. Okay, so you rip that from the headline, and so with your esoterrorist game, you, you are agents, your players are agents, and they get activated. They don't necessarily, they're not all in the same place. They have day jobs, and they're secret agents, and they do things all, you know, wherever, and the Ordo Veritatis, the Order of Truth, We'll call them up and activate them and say, we're assembling your cell, your team. You're going to meet here and uh, get a briefing from your Mr. or Ms. Verity. That's the code name of your briefer. You don't know their actual identity. And then from there, as a team, you're going to go to the location. So it may be nearby. It may be far away, depending on your operational security parameters. And you're going to do the investigation. So your scenarios can be sort of a one shot. You just, you have a beginning, middle and end and you push right through it in a four hour session. Or maybe it's a two or three session arc, or maybe you want to have a big long session of campaign almost that spans a year. You can do all of that with the esoterrorists, esoterrorists system really easily. Think about shows like The X-Files. That may be dating me a little bit because it was from the 90s, but they had episodes that were just one-offs. Just monster of the week, come in, you find it, you solve it, you move on, you find the real truth. Perfect type of scenario for the esoterrorists. But they also had their mythology shows, ones that advance the overarching plot within the season and across the seasons about Mulder and Scully and the aliens and, and Mulder's sister and the abductions and things like that, uh, cigarette smoking man, all of that. You can also do that where you have the cells of esoterrorists and you have mother cells and daughter cells and, and split offs and all that sort of thing and you're trying to find your way up to the top of the pyramid to dismantle a large organization. So this allows, this game system, this setting, allows for a bunch of different ways of putting together a game. Also, if you're doing that Monster of the Week, you could have completely different characters each time you play because you're activating these cells and these members, you're coming together, you're doing an investigation, you're having your veil out, and you're done and you're moving on. And you're not worrying too much about the long-term effects of exposures to outer dark entities, to the outer dark, to the crazy things that's gonna uh, affect your sanity and slowly drain it over time, and the effect that might have if, let's say, the esoterrorists find out your day job and find out, oh, hey, you have a spouse and you have kids. Sure would be a shame if something happened to them. That's more of a campaign multi-session, longer 
area, longer term type of, of scenario. Within the Esoteris book, they also identify a different campaign frame rather than coming together, having your briefing, and then going someplace else. They call it station duty, where you are stationed in an area that has persistent threats from esoterists. Esoterists. They have persistent threats, or the Ordo Veritatis has verified that the membrane, the veil that separates our reality from the outer dark reality, is really thin. And they suspect, but they don't know for sure, that there's a cell working and is spreading information, spreading irrationality, spreading anti-vaxxer, religious fervor, these sort of things, irrational stuff to thin for some sort of greater purpose. And your job, you're assigned to a station, you're assigned to a certain geographic area, and hey, if you're going to be there for a year, that means your family has to come with you. And you have to have a cover story. What are you doing there? What's your job? You all of a sudden get assigned there from out of town. Maybe there's some locals you read in, you recruit them in, so that may be some of the players, but then other players are coming in. But you have families, you have connections, you have friends, and that makes that campaign frame much more personal, much more individual, because you're, you're stuck in place. You're not just flying in, doing your business, and flying out. And that also makes the, what I think is the most, in, not, not the most, an interesting aspect of the arc of how you're supposed to tell your stories in the esoteric is the veil out. Because the veil out is how you reestablish rationality as agents of the Ordo Veritatis. You are trying to explain away this irrational stuff. That for sure happened. There's an outer dark entity that nobody's supposed to know about that has come into your world and is doing crazy things and inspired other people to do crazy things. And they're a real threat. But if other people know about it, then it makes it easier for them to come through. So you want to nix that. How, what is your cover story? And how do you spread that to the local population when crazy things keep on happening? Think about Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Again, I might be dating myself from the 90s. I'm a Gen Xer, okay? Um, where they're in this location and all these monsters are coming through and her friends kind of know about it. I didn't watch it enough to know whether or not the greater community kind of was like, huh, why is there all these werewolves and vampires and devils and demons coming through town? Uh, no, those aren't real. Your job is to veil out and to provide that cover explanation. The uh, Stranger Things with the laboratory, the Department of Energy or CIA or whatever, they have their cover story that they get everyone, all the kids and the adults to, to uh, adhere to about what was happening, that it wasn't really the upside down that was being accessed. It was some other story. That's your veil out. And how do you do that if you're established in an area and thing after weird thing happens and you keep on patting it down and you got to do another story and you're always at, always at the center of it. People aren't dumb. How are they going to figure, you know, aren't they going to figure out? Do you have to read them in? Do you have to move them out of the area? You can't kill them though because that thins the membrane. That, my friend, is the esoterists. If you want to learn more about esoterists or role-playing games in general, go to ZorgGameGeek.com and esoterists zorgamegeek.com slash esoterror, E-S-O-T-E-R-R-O-R. -R -R. Thanks for watching and listening. Please hit like and subscribe. I know it's YouTube, like and subscribe. Mm, what can you do? Also, links below. Thanks for watching and keep gaming.